What's up guys? Welcome back to the e-bike builder channel. So in this video, we're going to try some different brakes out. So this bike, this is a new bike. This is a new addition to the channel, this bike. So I got this bike on a clearance sale for $184. And I'm going to turn it into an e-bike very soon, but the motor is still coming in the mail. I think it's coming tomorrow. So I'm going to be doing the build very soon with the motor on this thing, a mid-drive motor. And I might even build like a triangle battery for it at some point. But in this video, I'm just kind of waiting for the motor to do this build. And so what I want to do in this video is I want to put some different brakes on this thing. You always have to upgrade the brakes. Like if you're going to use one of these bikes to turn into an e-bike, you always have to upgrade the brakes. So in this video, we're going to try some different brakes that I've had recommended to me. And so I got these on Amazon, but these are made in China. As is lots of e-bike stuff, so it comes with some brake, uh, like some mounting bolts with some red thread locker on them. And then we've got two brake calipers. So it's a pair. You can buy just one if you want, but it's usually cheaper to get two. And then so both of these brake calipers were $40 on Amazon. So $20 for each caliper. And so what this is, is this is a Zoom HB100. That's what these are called. And so the deal with this is that this is like um so this these are kind of an interesting brake to me because it's a mechanical brake right like you run the you run the brake the steel brake cable you know through here and then hook it into this thing right here i believe i don't even yeah, that seems to be it. The brake cable comes back through here, and then you tighten that on right here. But then, so when you, so you're pulling on a brake cable, like a steel brake cable, but then the brake cable is actually, there's hydraulics inside of this caliper. So like, it seems like when the cable pulls this thing, this thing is actually like pushing the hydraulic fluid and then the hydraulics are what actually make the brake pads squeeze together. So, in theory, this should be, and I'm not sure how these perform. You know, these are just cheap $40 brakes. But, in theory, like, if you had a brake that had a brake, a steel brake cable, so it was a mechanical pull, but then the, the caliper itself has the advantages of the hydraulics which make the pads squeeze in from both sides evenly so that you don't have to constantly adjust mechanical brake pads which usually like usually mechanical brakes they wear they can wear down unevenly and you have to constantly keep adjusting each side of the brake pad to make sure that your brakes feel good but with hydraulics it presses from both sides of the pad evenly. So this is potentially like, I want to try these out. And I had them recommended to me a while back earlier this year. And I just, I ended up just using some brakes that I had in my part bin. But I want to try these brakes for this bike. Um, so this comes with like a, it comes with a brake, like a mounting adapter on here. And that's kind of nice because usually if you want to buy one of these adapters on its own, it's like $9 or $10 for one of these things. So that's kind of nice that these come with a brake adapter. Cut the end of this little thing off of here. Man, this is a shitty cable too. It's like going all over the place. Unwinding. Alright, so let's... Uh, pull this cable out of here without fraying it too much. All right, there we go. 
So I'm just waiting for my phone to charge so that I can go on my actual bike ride. And I thought I would get this out of the way here. Man, this, this bolt right here doesn't even fit my wrench. What is going on here? What a wacky bolt, dude. Oh my God, no. Where's the mallet? We got some wacky hardware on here, buds. Let's see, get in there. Don't know. <laughs> All right, well, I just turned the uh, camera off for a moment while I loosened up that bolt that just about stripped out on my, <laughs> on my Walmart bike. All right, so what about this bolt down here? Same deal, they got all this chintzy hardware on here. What is going on? Who does this? Guys, when you buy a Walmart bike, you better be ready to like do some bike mechanics because there's probably something messed up about it. All right, well, after a little bit of swearing and cussing and stripping out this other bolt, holy wow. I'm lucky I got these dang things off of there on this Walmart bike. Well, that's one example of why you might not want to buy a Walmart bike is that all of the screws that are holding your brakes on are probably like torqued on there with a impact way harder than necessary. Okay. So if the threads in that brake adapter aren't stripped out, I'll try and reuse that. So let's see here. Yeah, so these brakes are just junky. So what do we got here? There's some some pads in there. It's got like, yeah. All right. So let's see how these go on there. So we got a little brake pad spreader in there. Let's try and get that out of there. Let's, there we go. So I'm sure that the brake pads that come on these things probably aren't good. Would be my guess. Let's see. So, but we'll try them out anyways. Man, look at this. Like the brake the brake the brakes that were on this bike they were only touching the pad they were only touching the rotors halfway like they were totally is this even right dude like what is going on here walmart i don't even think they had the brakes they had the brakes like mounted on this thing like halfway right like what is going on here where let's see here where's my other here it is Okay, so let's get this going on here, and then it does, um, let's see. Something doesn't seem right here with how this brake, this adapter is mounted on here, so I'm taking this thing off. This is wacky, dude. All right, well, after some dinking around, it does seem like I'm just gonna use this adapter that came on here. I don't know if the, like, I don't know if this fork is funny or if this brake adapter is funny or what is funny, but it just doesn't seem like, like it seems like this is a front 180, like 160 to 180 adapter that you would use. But then like the previous brakes that were on here, they weren't looking right at all. Like the, the pad was only hit, hitting the rotor halfway. And now these seem a little bit better. I gotta get, it seems a little bit better on this one. I gotta get this thing going on here. All right guys, so I got this brake caliper mostly fastened on here and it's just loosey goosey right now. And so I'm gonna bring the brake cable down through here. Like this. And see, mechanical brakes are so much easier to deal with than hydraulics. Like, it's just easier to cut the hoses and, like, I don't know. I, I don't have a whole lot of experience with hydraulics, and they um, kind of seem like a pain. So I'm just going to put this uh, brake cable down through here. Let's see. Can we get that going through there? Without... There we go. Okay. Nice. And then I'll kind of pull it taut and tighten this back up here to clamp down on the brake cable.
Oh man, why? Do, what is going on with these? This hex wrench. It's like not fitting into things today. <laughs> okay, so that should be on there pretty well. Let's see here. Let's hold on to the caliper and get it. There we go. Come on, get out. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna pull the brake. Let's see here. Pull the brake to center it on the rotor and then kind of give it the final tightening up here. Let's see. Kind of finalize tightening up those brake uh, caliper mounting bolts. Not quite as hard as Walmart had them on there. All right. Now. It seems like our brake cable's on there. Let's get this kind of... There we go. Is that finalized? Now, what does it feel like? Feels pretty good. Seems like they're working. Let's see, can we spin the wheel? We got a little bit of scraping going on, but we'll get that sorted out. Um, We'll get that started out. We're going to start riding this thing after I build it up tomorrow when the motor gets here. Oh, get off of there, you little bastard. All right, and then to seal the deal, we're going to take a little end cap for the, the cable. And we're going to get that going into my crimping slot on the cable cutters from Park Tool. And we're going to come down here and get the cable going in there. And then crimp it on there. Ugh. There we go. And there we have it. There's the X Tech HB100 brakes that we've installed on my front wheel. So I guess these things have the mechanical caliper. So as we're pushing, as we're pushing the brakes, it should be squeezing from both sides, which it appears to be. It looks like I could have probably done a better job lining up the brake caliper, but I can always adjust that easily. All right guys, so now it is time for this rear brake caliper. Gonna get this one off of here. Same deal, I probably got some bolts on here that are gonna be tough to, oh wait, this one's easy to get off of there, wow. I wonder what happened with them dang front mounting bolts. They were torqued on there to like a million Newton meters. And I had, like I totally stripped out the, the head of the bolts on the front brakes. This one seems like it was barely even on there. <sighs> All right, so we got the mounting bolts off the caliper, so now we can uh, undo this thing here to get the brake cable coming out of the old caliper. Take the cable cutters, get this thing off of here. Here we go. And then we're gonna get, let's see here. So it doesn't seem like we need an adapter for this. It seems like this post mount was designed for 160. So let's see here. We want this to go like this. And then this is gonna go on here like that. All right, so now we're gonna bring the brake cable through here. This is kind of weird. It's going up through here on this rear one. I don't think I've ever seen a mechanical brake line go that way. But then, 
So now we gotta loosen this part right here. Man, is all of this hardware funny or did I mess up my, did I mess up my damn hex wrench or what is going on today with all this Chinese stuff? Interesting, so that goes up like that. <laughs> All right, so then now that we got that on there, um, where did my five mil wrench go? All right, so now we got that on there. I'm gonna pull this brake cable tight and then tighten up this little guy right here to hold on to the cable. Then I think I'm gonna get the caliper um, mounted on here. And that will make it easier to tighten up that thing that clamped on the cable. So let's see here. So, all right, the squeezing the brake levers as you're fastening on the brake worked in the rear. But for some reason, when I was torquing on that front one, the mounting bolts on that one, like I really had to kind of like hold it steady because Sometimes when you torque on these mounting bolts on the brake caliper, it like moves the whole brake caliper with the force that you're using. There we go. Perfect. Can you believe it? It's a Walmart bike without scratching, without scraping brakes. This front one is a little bit hard to turn in there. Let's see. Nice. Look at that. Awesome. So we got these, um, what are these? The HB 100s. The X-Tech HB 100 brakes. So it's got a, it's a mechanical pull, but then there's hydraulics inside of it. So it might be the best of both worlds. I don't know. I've never used them before. Let me know in the comments. If you have used the X-Tech Zoom HB100 brakes, and what do you think about them? How they treated you? John Denver, I think, was the person that recommended them to me in the comments. So thank you, John Denver, for the recommendation. I like your style, buddy. The only thing that's a little bit weird here is like this... Um, I gotta like bend this cable or else this steel cable is gonna be like scraping on my seat stay right there. So like I gotta bend this cable like out of the way there. But other than that, yeah, I'll probably have to tighten that cable up in short order. It's gonna get stretched out. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for now, guys. That's the X Tech zoom hb 100 brakes hydraulic line or their mechanical line pull mechanical pull hydraulic uh push hydraulic calipers so that's a thing that the chinese people have came up with it might even be a chinese innovation because i don't know that i've ever heard of that before brakes that you pull with the brake cable but then you it's actually got hydraulics in there. So that's a very interesting idea. It could potentially be the best of both worlds. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you guys have used these brakes. And I'm gonna be trying them very soon, tomorrow, when I get my motor and I build this thing into a mid-drive mountain bike. We're gonna take it out on the trails. We're gonna rip around. We're gonna see how these HB100 brakes do. We're gonna test out a new motor. I'll see you guys then on the e-bike builder channel. Video might not be ready for like two days, but yeah, it's coming up soon guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.